Hi everyone! So, um, I wanted to share with you my latest handbag purse haul or purchase. Um, I actually bought a Louis Vuitton Delightful in PM last month in Guam. My husband um, told me I could buy a new purse and I realized that I didn't have a Louis Vuitton bag. Um, honestly, I've never, Louis Vuitton never really stood out to me, but seeing that I like to collect designer handbag purchases, I knew I had to get something from Louis Vuitton. Um, and I noticed that the popular purses are like the Neverfulls and the Speedies. So I wanted to get something different, but not, but the same price. And then I stumbled on the Delightful. So this is what the purse looks like. This is a PM, which is a really nice size actually because the sales lady told me it's equivalent to a Neverfull MM. So you're kind of getting um, a good product for your money. Um, so this is one strap here and it was made in France so it just tends to kind of like slope in or slope out depends on what you have in here and this is what it looks like on the side back um the purse there is one claps here on the um on the top to keep the sides together and then you just have one zipper compartment but there's a lot of space in here i could fit a lot of stuff in so that is my new purse. Um, honestly, I wanted something from the um, Demir Azur canvas line, but I heard that those um, purses tend to stain easily, so I had to stay away. Um, but my husband likes this purse, so do I. And then, of course, he knows that I always need a matching wallet, so he was such a sweetheart, and he let me get a new um, wallet. Um, Honestly, since, as I said, I'm not really that much of a Louis Vuitton fan, I figured I just got the cheapest um, purse and wallet I could find. Um, so we got the Monogram Emily in red. So interior is red. And I got, ooh, got all these stuff in here. Um, I got to have my initials engraved in it. So you can fit four cards. Um, you have a change holder here how many slots one big pocket as you can see I put all my thing my receipts and stuff in here checkbook in the back and then in here there's another slot so you can put other stuff in there but I mean honestly even though they were like one of the cheapest purses I'm still really happy I'm glad that I finally added Louis Vuitton to my collection um, and that the bag even though it's a PM, it's really big for that size because the MM is huge. And I know the GM on the um, back of it, there's two zippers, I believe, like diagonal. So a lot of um, girls or women like the GM because of that. But with my petite body size, the PM was the perfect choice for me. Overall total, I believe it came out to um, 1350 for a wallet and purse. So, let me do the math real quick. So, let's see. The wallet was only 440, I believe, and the bag was about 910, and there's no tax. But yeah, I noticed that the prices are slightly cheaper there, like the the handbags. Not just not just um the no tax, but the handbags and the wallet was cheaper. I know the wallet was $10 cheaper. So, that's kind of crazy. I'm really happy that I bought these in this in Guam so yeah that's my latest um, handbag purchase um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have this bag I would really love to hear your thoughts on it to see maybe what you like what you don't like um, for me I like that it holds everything sometimes I do get a little irritated at the way it slouches in but I mean it's still cute right so I hope you guys like my purchase. I'll see you guys soon and I'll keep you updated if I purchase any more designer bags, but probably won't be anytime soon, maybe. We'll see. But see you guys later. Bye.